Hey, how's it going, YouTube? Van Park on here, and today we are going to be focusing on realistic terrain. So, yeah, I'm using Roblox Studio Beta because that's where you get PBR materials, and that's how I got the terrain to have like all these bumps here, and the way how the light reflects off of it because, like, in Roblox, um, PBR materials hopefully are coming soon but when you like let's let's put let's take away the normal map of this and compare the two you can see it is much better and like the ground as well like if i were to take the normal map away just make it a normal texture you can see both of these have a massive difference i even have like a like ground here and ground here without its normal map so I'm gonna be showing you how to do this with, with using Quixel not making it and yeah let's get in so I'm in Quixel and you because you already have I have downloaded some of these but let's get rid of the, all of these so we're going to go to 3D Assets. Remember to go get to Quickle, Qu Quixel Scans. You first have to get a Epic Games account. If you don't have that, then I think this may cost money. But yeah, if you want all of this for free, you get an Epic Games account. So I'm going to go into Assembly, and this is where you get where I get my rocks and all of that. So you can see here are all the rocks. And I already have some downloaded like this one. Now you know you're going to go into your the rocks. You go to download these. Remember to go into download settings because I'm still not sure if Roblox Studio Beta allows 8K. But what, all, but what Roblox Studio Beta allows is higher poly models. So you're going to go into 4K. And you're going to download it. So some of these are, again, I would say I already have, and that I have the textures already loaded. So let's go with, you know, one of them in the folder that's, you know, let's say you've downloaded, renamed, and unzipped. You're going to click workspace and add a mesh part. You go go to mesh ID, and open your folder. I have my, all my folders set up. You're going to go to the folder that you unzipped that you have downloaded. I'm going to go with a big cliff or like one of these. Like actually, let's go with a rock on ground. So Roblox Studio Beta does allow higher poly models, so we could just click the um, highest one, press yes on both of those, and wait for it to load. Okay. Now we have our like ground. Let's bring that here. Now let's go back into the folder. I think this is the folder that I took the it out of. And just let me just check. Uh, it is a different folder. Yeah. So now when you download, it should come with a color map, which is the normal thing which is this and it comes with other PBR materials which is a normal map we're mainly going to be using the normal and the um, color map so I should have these here so okay so I have all of my um, textures here and I'm going to be using these two that already put like uploaded so this should be the color map which is if we go back here it should be this so what I'm going to do I'm going to go here go add a sur a surface appearance here I'm going to go here and color map press control V of the of the idea and the ID like it will automatically wrap as the mesh like texture ID now I'm going to go into the normal map, 
which is this, this whole bunch of purple rubbish. Although it's not exactly rubbish at all and it's actually very important. I'm going to go here and con press Control C, go here and you know, then not roughness, we're going to go into normal, press enter. And now we could see it has changed a lot. And then I don't like to add roughness and metal maps because it gives us options to scale it here. So I could scale this to be one and it's like, it will look very good. Still, like the, like I'm not exactly sure what roughness does, it's like it, it affects the way how light reflects off and still it, instead of this may, you know, looking very wet like mud. When it goes like, when it goes more here, it does look like it is covered in like water and all that. When it goes here, it's more rocky, so when you want like a surface to be somewhat red, like you could just scale it to see how, what suits you, what you think will good, and this, that you think is good. This metal, I think, metal all scale, like maybe reflects kind of the light, but we keep that at zero for rocks. And... A little thing you should know about terrains, like from Quixel, is that sometimes when you go under, it will look like this. So, when you try to make terrains, you must try and make sure that people can't see the, um, you know, like it, it may take a while to sort all this, but you must like try, like, but then you must make it that. A person will only be here and they can only see this or if they do end up here you're going to have to try and make it so that they don't see no this and here's a more like surface and all of that like if someone let's say it goes down a hill you probably got to have to put some terrain here from quixel yeah and let me go more on like if you go here like if you go to tree, it will give you something like these for many forests. If you go forest roots, you could, you know, have all of these. These are for, like, less rocky type surfaces. But you could also go to rock, and this is where you could get your cliffs and all of that. So, yeah. I'm, so, then again, you mustn't be using... If you want this effect with the lighting reflecting and all of that... You have to use Roblox Studio Beta until, you know, PBR materials come out. And you can make very cool stuff with this. It is very good. And yeah, that's what I want to say. It is like, the, prob the only problem is, is like, you know, when you go behind, like, this looks good. But when you go behind, it looks very, you know, strange. So you're going to want to like maybe try and invest in a way to sort that out. Or yeah, that's how it is. Like you make your realistic terrain. I know it isn't like focusing on Roblox's terrain. It's more focusing on, um, you know, using other assets. I haven't really tested on like when you're walking on this surface, like how it is. I have not tested that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, that's how we put the, all the realistic textures. You know, you have to have your PBR materials, surface appearance on Roblox Studio Beta. And I can't wait until it comes out to the official Roblox Studio. Because then I we could actually upload this. And, you know, Roblox games are going to look super well done, like quite good and all that and yeah enough rambling that is basically it for the video if you need help so just leave a comment like saying what you need help with and i will try to reply to you guys but yeah that's it for today